For 98% of you out there, the planning portion in the Pembok or waterfall is when you first want to quit. I can't have that. I'm going to simplify everything in a visual, easy way so that you can skate right through it and you build your confidence instead of killing it. Let me see what I can do. All right, so look at planning. Look at that column. It's 24 processes. Ah, overwhelming. I bet you feel like this dude. Ah, I don't know what to do. It's really overwhelming me. By the time that we finish here, I want you to have the confidence of the dude in the picture here. Yeehaw, I know exactly what it is. I know exactly how it helps us and I can use it to build my confidence on the PMP. Let's do it. All right, so let's talk about planning. What is the goal of planning? There's two of them. What are the goals of planning? They break down to two little words. First of all, how, how we go about and lead this project from all the different facets and what are we actually trying to accomplish? How and what? Make sense? Now, I want you to watch that little list of 24 processes. I got magic in these fingers. Boop! I just took a bunch of them away, right? All those in the guts. Don't worry, I'll explain them, all right? What's left? Those little air, those little yellow areas right there. What do they say? Develop project management plan. Plan scope management. Plan schedule management. Plan cost management. Seem like a pattern here? Plan something management, right? Everything in planning starts with how. Those processes slow us down and say, whoa, 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 buddy. How are you going to lead this project in schedule, in cost, in quality, in resource, in stakeholder engagement? I wish I had more fingers because I do more. What's your approach for doing it? It's basically your how-to manual. Imagine you couldn't execute and you had to have someone else help you. This is your approach, your how-to for doing that. It's how they will be done, not what will be done. It's not talking about the details of the project. It's how we go about getting to the details there. Does that make sense? Now, once we know that those 10 little yellow areas, those processes are all the how-to manuals, we can stop at that. We can get rid of them. Throw them in the trash can, dude, because we know exactly, hey, it slows us down. What's our approach for dealing it? How do we plan these areas? How do we manage them as they go through? Got it. Now, once we do that, bang. We flip it, we say, take away those planning processes, and we leave these three little chunks right here. These three chunks are super important. Remember we went from how to what? The what is, what are we producing here, dude? What do we wanna get to? What activities will we actually complete to do the said thing? And what's it gonna cost? There's some more questions below that those three big ones are our baselines. Make sense? So once we get the approach, the how, now we get into the nitty gritty. What are we producing? What activities will get us there? And what's it going to cost? That's what we got to nail down. So let's start at the top. Here's what we're going to nail down. The first thing, you got to know what you're doing. Now, here's where a lot of you can go like, Scott, I got it, but I'm going to go into the details. You get lost again. You give up. Nope. Look at these three processes. Do they make sense? Let's see if we can break it down. Now, we got three processes right off the bat. There's a fourth one on top that is the plan uh, scope management, right? The way I want you to think about it is these processes take all those ideas, all those things we could do, and boom, put them into what we will deliver. So if you got all the ideas about in this picture about building a luxury yacht, you know, oh, we could do this, we could do that, we could have gold toilets, we could have this, we could have all these things. What are we actually going to do so that the people out there can buy the stuff, buy the gold toilet from, you know, Elvis, and then bring it over and install it on the ship, right? That's what we're doing. That's how we get it done. All right, so let me show you another visual. The four processes, plan scope management, all the way through to create WBS. I want you to visualize them like, what do you call this? A little hourglass? Something, you know, like the thing that sand or whatever goes through to measure your time? What does it look like? Big at the top, little at the middle, big at the bottom. Got it? These processes mirror that. Let me show you how. Now, right off the bat, what is the first question that we should be asking in any things? how like what is our approach the how for defining to define defining apologize the project scope and managing it to completion like that's the how like what's our approach to doing this the way i want you to see that is that sets up the entire kind of like hourglass right so that's the plan scope management it's laying out okay here's our approach got it now step two is the second process collect requirements now, when you start a project, what happens? 
Everybody and their brothers got ideas from the big person, the sponsor, to the craftsman, to the customer, to the stakeholders, to everybody, to yourself. Everybody's got ideas and they get big, right? Look at the top of the actual uh, hourglass. It's big at the top, right? So think about all the ideas coming into there. Boom. And it, the question that you should be asking through this process is, what could we deliver? What could we produce? C-O-U-L-D, if I spelled it right, could, right? Think about it as like tons of little stickies all over the place. Oh my God, here's where we need to go. So our goal in correct requirements is to collect requirements. Get all the ideas, the stickies down, boom. Control them so that we can organize them. But number one, get the big part of that funnel at the top filled with ideas. Then as we do that, boom, we start to organize them. Where are we missing ideas? Where have we not pushed the focus? How do we get create affinity diagrams for what we could? How do we start getting voting and opinions and insights from the stakeholders and the sponsor and yourself? How do we get those things so the ideas start to filter down and you start to see a picture of, oh, this is what we should do. You're not there yet, but you're getting close to it. Does that make sense? And how like all the ideas are starting to go down to this center point, a decision point right in the middle. Does that make sense? Now, uh, process number two asks, all right, we got all these things that we could produce and we've kind of organized them. Somebody's got to make a decision on what we will produce, all right? That's where we define scope. And that's that pivot point right in the middle of the hourglass. All those little ideas have got to go through there. Some make it, some don't, but we got to have a decision, right? So what do we produce when we do that? A project scope statement where we say in written form, paragraph, couple paragraphs, whatever it is, hey, here's what the description of the scope is. Here's what we're going to deliver, key deliverables. Here's the acceptance criteria. Here's what we're doing and not doing exclusion-wise. So that's where we're coming down together and we're saying, hey, we're not doing this. Why do you do that? To get alignment. Everybody threw their ideas in. You've made them feel heard by limiting them out, listening them out, putting them in the affinity diagram, breaking them down. But now you are relating to people to say, we only have the, we are going to focus on this. You are dealing with the potential objections. You're talking about it and you're building consensus around that. Does that make sense? So you're going down. Now, as we do that, now we bust it out again. We take those things that we said, this is what we're going to do. And now we boom, see how the thing gets bigger at the bottom. Now we break those down to get the details of what it's going to be. You know, how heavy is the actual toilet going to be? Where is it going to be installed? What's the piping system? What pressure? All those different particularities related to the scope all right, are defined down. So it says, what details do we need to figure out how to deliver? And that is create WBS. WBS is work breakdown structure. It might look something like that. Build a luxury yacht, all the, the, the engine room, the state rooms, the hull, the propulsion system, whatever it is, all these things are broken down in noun form, not verbs, not well the joint. It is that the joints have this you know, integrity to them, that they are this specification, all these different things, or this piping system, not install the piping system, but there is a piping system that delivers this pressure of water to the engine or whatever it is. It is nouns, things that if you snapped your fingers and it was magic, you could go and look at it, the specifics of it. Does that make sense? So you see how we've gone from the top of, you know, have an approach, get all the ideas, organize them so that we can make a decision, bring alignment and focus to that, and then boom, bust it out so that everybody knows exactly all the details. That's the beauty. And then once we do that, we can go, bing, nail down the planning part for scope, and we're gonna go into the schedule and cost. All right, so we can say, all right, we got to deliver this gold toilet with this massive flushing capability. I don't know, Elvis, but it could have helped. Who knows? But like, as we go in there, what are the activities that we need to do? We need to source it. We need to, you know, organize it. We need the piping go in, blah, 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 blah. All these testing, that's the activities in the schedule. Then we get into the cost. Is it really 24 gold, carat gold or can we have a gold plated toilet? Whatever it is, like we got to balance those. All right, so that's how they all play together. In a later video, if you like it, I'll go through schedule and cost. All you got to do is uh, go down below uh, and you know write little notes or send me an email or whatever, and I'll do more. All right? So if you don't know who I am, what's up? It's, this is the end of the video. I should have led with this. 
My name's Scott Payne. I try to make things as simple, fun, easy, usable, and like engaging as humanly possible. I think we did that here, right? If you want to get in more of this, go to my site, PM Master Prep, click on the free trial. You get tons of videos. You get the coach co coaching call with me. You probably end up talking to me most likely, and we figure out what's best for you. So simple as that. Hope you loved it. Scope and schedule and cost and baselines and planning don't have to be a roadblock. They can be a jet pack on your back, all right? Shoom, pushing you through. Let's learn. Let's get better. It's all just logical project management. See you soon. Come get the trial. Come talk to me. It's all going to be better. See you later, alligator.